Plymouth Voyager 1991-1995 The Plymouth Voyager was modified for 1991 with new sheet metal. The S platform was still used, though renamed the S platform. These were the last Voyagers that were derived from the Chrysler K platform. Trim levels were carried over from the previous generation. 1991 Voyagers were available in base, mid-grade say, high-end LA, and high-end sporty LX. The LX which was available only on short wheelbase Voyagers, was marketed as a sport luxury minivan and came with the most standard equipment including alloy wheels, fog lamps, and wide array of power-operated features. In later years various trim packages were offered on same models. The sport wagon package available from 1993 to 1995 featured accent color, gray, bumpers and molding, fog lamps, and special aluminum wheels. The rally package offered in 1995, took the place of the departed LX model. It was more luxury oriented, with lower body two-tone paint, regardless of upper body color. The lower body was painted driftwood beige, silver aluminum wheels, and special badging. The font first used for the Rally's badging was adopted for all of Plymouth's badging from 1996 onward. Interiors were more differentiated in this generation than on the first with a redesigned dashboard for 1994 featured a passenger side front airbag. And a seating package, marketed as Quad Command Seating Package, available on say, LA and LX models. Quad Command replaced the second row bench with two individual bucket seats with a center aisle to the third row bench. Interior options varied with trim levels and packages. Cloth seating was standard on all models, leather seating was a standalone extra cost option on the and LX models. Only badging and minor cosmetics differentiated the Voyager from its Dodge Caravan rebadged variant. The Chrysler Town & Country shared the Voyager's headlamps and taillights along with its own chrome water fog grille. In Mexico, the Voyager was sold as a Chrysler and shared the chrome water fog grille with the Town & Country. 1991, second generation minivans released. A driver's side airbag was made standard for this year. Integrated child safety seats and the second row bench were optional on 1992 Voyagers. The Grand Voyager was available with a lower cost powertrain. A 142 horsepower, 106 kilowatts 3.0 liters V6 and a 3 speed automatic could be substituted for the standard 150 horsepower, 112 kilowatts 3.3 liters V6 with its 4 speed automatic. The 5 speed manual transmission could once again be paired with the base engine which was now the 2.5 liter 4 instead of the original 2.2 liter 4. 1993, on 7 passenger models, the optional quad command bucket seats replaced the middle bench seat. The right bucket tilted forward to ease entry and exit to the rearmost bench. The front shoulder belts became height adjustable and rear shoulder belts had lower anchor points and the horn button was black. 1994, new bumpers and body moldings, and a redesigned dashboard appeared on all 1994 Voyagers. New safety features which included a passenger side airbag and side door guard beams enabled the Voyager to meet all passenger car safety requirements through 1998. A cassette player became standard on all models but the bass, and a CD player was available on all models. Under the hood, a 162 horsepower. 121 kilowatts 3.8 liters v6 was a new option for top-of-the-line grand voyager limb models the 3.3 liters v6 had been upgraded to produce 162 horsepower 121 kilowatts as well for 1994 the 10-year anniversary edition was an option on voyager same models it had unique two-tone paint and badges 1995 no major changes were made for 1995, except for the new Rally option package available on same models. Rally models came with special silver accent wheels and special two-toned paint on the lower body.